Oh, yeah, you guys don't know NumPad. If you don't know NumPad notation, I would heavily suggest you guys looking it up on YouTube. Uh, but I will explain it briefly right now. Cool. NumPad, because this is important if you want to play anime fighting games. NumPad. Think of this as a controller. Five is basically neutral. You're not holding anything. Right now, as you see the characters, they are literally in the five position. If you press eight, that is up. If you press two, that is down. Four, that is back. And six, that is forward. And then nine is up, up forward. Seven is up back. If you know what I mean? That's exactly what numpad notation is. The reason why we use this is because it's a universal language that we can use for any fighting game. Normally, f anime fighting games. So if anybody, somebody from Brazil or from Italy or from Japan can figure out a combo, they can do notations with the numpad notations, and we everybody could understand it because there's no language there. It's just numbers. So that's how it works. That's what numpad notation is. Learn that, and the more you use it, the better it'll <laughs> be engraved into your mind. So keep that in mind. All right, let's take a look at all these different moves, okay? Starting from the top, just like how we always do every single character overview series, we're going to take a look at every single character, take a look at all their buttons, all their special moves, their supers. Well, actually, not the supers, but the EX moves, I should say. So, let's take a look at uh, Zeta. Now, with this game, there's proximity buttons. So, proximity buttons means that depending on which which range you're at, you can uh, be far away or close. Your button will change depending on how close you are to the opponent. So let's take a look at the far ranging, far far buttons for Zeta. It's only the standing buttons too. Zeta, you're interrupting me. But that's a really cool idle animation. So you got 5A, which is that right there. That's pretty good actually for... I saw a tweet by Ali Yoon being able to whiff punish specific buttons with this, which is really, really cool. It's pretty active. 5B seems to be the go-to poking button for for uh, Zeta. And you can cancel it as well. All these That's a, a cancelable move. So I can, I can go into a special move. Uh, that's 5B. 5C seems to be the one that you want to do to start a big combo. And it's also special cancelable from what I see. So with that, that's all our proximity buttons. Uh, they're pretty decent for the most part. Pretty far-reaching. And I like this 5B. This 5B is pretty sick. Uh, with that being said, let's take a look at her lows. That's 2A, which is a pretty nice reaching 2A. It's a low, what it looks like. 2B looks really nice as well, and I imagine this is a low. Oh, it's not a low. Oh, shoot. 2B is not a low. That's good to know, by the way. So keep that in mind. 2B is not a low. Uh, 2C, that's her main anti-air. If anybody takes flight, knock them out with the 2C button. All right? So that's her... Lows and her, I'm sorry, her, her crouching buttons and her far reaching buttons. Now for the uh, air buttons, we got JA, which seems interesting. Looks like it's pretty active. Oh man. What? Oh no. Look how active that is. I thought we got rid of this. Dude, Charlotta's was ridiculous, and so was Grand's. And now we have to deal with Zeta's. Look at that. Look how active that is. Okay. So JB, which is probably going to be her cross-up move. This is the only move that can really cross up, so keep that in mind. Uh, okay. JC, probably going to be one of your main jump-in moves as well, which is pretty good. It's, it's all right, actually. It's not too great. Uh... And then last but not least, we'll take a look at these buttons as well. But might as well take a look at her um, her unique uh, attribute, her drive, her unique, her unique stuff. So her 5D, which I like to call it. That's her 5D. It's a four-button fighter, by the way. Or a five-button fighter, I should say. That's 5D. Depending on how much you press it, more hits come out. 2D. Her sweep. Just like that. And JD is going to be Pogo Stick. Pogo Stick. And you can do it three times. And then you can continue onward like that. Just like that. That's her JD, her 5D and her 2D. 
Uh, after that, we got the close proximity button. So if you're up close, you got 5A, which is decent. It's not too too terrible. Close 5B seems pretty good, too. I wonder if this is plus. Most knees that are like this, they're actually, like, not plus, but, like, even. Uh, so there's 5B, 5C. This is probably going to be your main combo ender for uh, combo uh, opener for damage. I, I think all 5Cs are going to be like that, really. But this one is pretty freaking good, too. Look at that. Bam. Bam. Okay. So that's our close proximity buttons. Uh, let's take a look at our grabs. Nice grab. She does a little pose at the end. It's kind of cool. That's her back, uh, back grab. That's cool. What about this? That's even. So all the auto combos are even. Ah. All auto combos are zero on on, uh, on block. That's pretty dope. So special moves, four of them. Pretty self-explanatory. You got the lunge, which you perform 6-6. Six, six. That's the A version, the B version, and the C version. In the C version, you can go up to three times. And the regular version can go twice. And you can go any direction, too. You can go up. You can go upright. You can go this way if you want. Or uh, backwards. Whatever you want. So that's the 6-6 six, six one. Uh, the down-down one is going to be rising. Uh, it's like a raising uppercut. The C version. I don't know if this is invincible. I don't think this is invincible. But you can get some pretty cool combos from this. After that, you have the uh, downward strike, which is going to be this one. You can do it in the air as well, just like that. Depending on which button, you go in a different direction. And same thing, you can go up to twice. So there's that. Okay, and then there's her fireball. She does have a fireball, and she has, I think, one of the best fireballs for sure. There's the light version that goes full, so full screen, light version. Like that, there's the B version, which has less recovery but more startup. And then the EX version, which wall bounces. Okay, so let's take a look at the guard stance real quick. So it's two and four. So from this stance, you actually have some hit guard. So if he tries to hit you, so for example, so if he tries to hit me right there, see how I have. A ton of different uh, guard armor. I don't know how much I have, actually. But I have guard armor, and she has follow-ups after this. So she has... Oh, by the way, she has a low version as well. She has This one's regular for mids. This one is for lows. This one's for all of them. So out of this stance, she has a couple things. The A version, she can do that. The B version, she just has an uppercut, which is nice. And then the C version is a, a knee. And you can actually continue a combo after this. Yeah, just like that. So yeah, and then the EX version. It's even better. That one ground bounce, wall bounces. And this one is... Yeah, you can do a whole bunch of combos, I imagine. I'll look up some more combos. But that's her stance attack. All her special moves are actually really cool. The only thing she's missing and she's lacking is, of course, a DP. Something invincible to get people off of her. So this is Grand. This is the, the Shoto air quotes of the game do has a fireball do has a, uh, a a kicking move a dp and uh some other things <laughs> we'll find out so first and foremost far far proximity normals we got 5a it's pretty far reaching 5a actually i underestimate this 5a it looks like it's got a lot of active frames 5b this is definitely a button that you want to use uh for just being in the neutral 5C, this is actually good for whiff punishing, and I've been a victim to this button quite a bit during the beta for whiff punishing. If you get whiff punished by this move, you can go into like like this, which wall bounces, a bunch of freaking damage. This character can do a bunch of damage, by the way, from the last time I played him. So that's far 5C. We got 2A, which actually I think got nerfed. Yeah, it did get nerfed. This move was the best 2A in the game because it could chain into each other and you can do uh, like uh, Rekus. Uh, other than that, 2B, which is a pretty eh type move. It's a, it's a mid, it's not a, it's not a low. Holy crap, that's crazy how it's not a low, by the way. There's that, and there's 2C, which is his main anti-air, which you're gonna do use to if they take flight. After that, 
you're going to have your air moves, which is this one. This also got... Oh, man, it's still freaking active as hell, dude. It's still active as hell, man. Are the JAs are just still... Do they even ch touch the JAs? I thought they freaking touched the JAs. Maybe they increased the hitboxes. I'm sorry, the, the hurt boxes, and they decrease the hitbox. That might be why. So it's still hella active, but you can anti-air it a lot better. I think that's why. Because Charlotta's, you couldn't anti-air it. It was freaking just ridiculous. It, you, it was the size of Texas, that hitbox. And I think they decreased it. So anyways, that's JA. JB, it's going to be a pretty, and uh, I guess for air-to-airs, it's not good for jump-ins. That's about as much what you can use it for. JC, it's going, that's definitely a good jump in, especially with its range. It's got some pretty decent range, actually. But the button you want to use for that, for jump ins, is JD. This right here. Cross up, active, lasts a million years. Just, it's super good. JD is the, is the freaking button for jump ins, for sure. For any jump in you want. That's the button. After that, we have the unique moves which is going to be 2D. Sweep. Pretty good sweep, actually. Pretty good range. Um, and then there's this unique skill, which is his slash. And his slash, you can actually store it. So I guess at certain levels, it can wall bounce. Anyways, nonetheless, unique skill is a very interesting one. I don't know how I feel about it. But anyways, it's an okay move. It sends him back pretty far. When you charge it up, it's wall bounces, invincible, all that good stuff. So, there's that. Um, there's also his... Close proximity normals, which is going to be 5A. Pretty self-explanatory 5A. It's how it is. Uh, it's probably a plus on block, just like all the other close 5As. Let's see. Uh, then there is close 5B. Close 5B is pretty good. And then close 5C, like I said, main combo starter for whenever you punish or whenever you want to do big damage. So there's that. Let's see. His throws. Forward throw, back throw. So the special moves, by the way are going to be Fireball. There's the A version. There's the B version. And the C version. The C version is mad good. It has multiple hits and wall bounces, and it leads to big damage. Uh, yeah, Fireball is pretty good, actually. This first hit actually nullifies Fireball, so if you want to do a Fireball War, you can actually do quite a bit by doing the B version. Uh, but anyways, nonetheless, that's uh, his Fireballs. Uh, after that, we have his Rekka, or his Tatsu, per se. A version, you just do this, pretty much. It just lunges forward, and that's pretty much it for that. B version, you lunge forward and with, with a kick, and sends him flying. The C version is a wall bouncer, really quick. Probably has some low invul when he, because he's airborne. I swear there was another follow-up. There it is, right there. You, you can do the follow-up, yeah. So it's, so of course, you go back A and B. We have to do both versions. You have to do both of the moves. So course will go back A, course will go back B. Be able to do that. And then you can't but you cannot do that with the C version. Oh. Just like that. Anyways, so that's his uh course will go back. After that's his DP. There's a DP. Invincible light. Invincible B version. And invincible C version. Every version is invincible. Anyways, so he only has three special moves. Simple simple self-explanatory character. Uh, does a lot of damage. Doesn't have the greatest of neutrals, but he has a pretty decent fireball. He's got good damage. Corner game is pretty freaking redonka donk. Active normals. Two C's mad good as well. Yeah, he seems like like the Shoto of the game. Just a very very basic character. He's got a oh really good cross up. The cross up oh this cross up is freaking delicious. Delicious cross up. So there's that. Catalina. Now this is a character right here, dude. This is a character. So, let's take a look at all her normals and everything else. We got Far 5A, which actually is freaking really big. Really big and really fast. That's what I like about this 5A. Pretty freaking good. Special cancelable if you want to just harass some people. Uh, it is gap. It, is, it does have a gap, so be careful when you do this. Um, after that, you have Far 5B, which is a freaking dope poking button. This is, this is a freaking button right here. This is basically Mitsuru 5A. Mitsuru 5A. But in a, a B version. After that, we have 5C. 5C is good for because it's like like every other far 5C. It's very active. It's good to whiff punish. Uh, it's not as good as Grand's in my opinion, but it's still pretty decent. Either or, that's her far proximity normals. Then we have her lows. We have 2A, 
pretty freaking stubby, but it's really good because it leaves them in place. So you can do like cool things and makes comboing easier off of a low. It's your go-to low when you're up close. So there's that. There's 2B. 2B is actually a really, really, really freaking good button, by the way. If you just want to poke and do play neutral. Uh, also, it's special cancelable, but it's not a low. And I think that's a reoccurring theme with all the 2Bs that look like lows, but they're not. So there's 2B. Pretty decent. Good range, too. Holy crap. Uh, after that, we got 2C, which is the main anti-air. But the anti-air, it's not super... I don't think this anti-air is super great, especially if they're right above you. But that's why she has her reversal, which is really freaking good for anti-airing. So just be, be on the lookout that 2C is not the greatest, but DP is. Getting ahead of myself, though. Uh, that's her lows, or her crouching normals, I should say. Her jumping normals. You got five, uh, JA. JA, which is... This one can cross up, by the way. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, it can be pretty cheap. Active, just like every other JA in this entire game, but it's easily anti-airable from what I hear. After that, we have JB, which is, all right, it doesn't have too much of a vertical hitbox, but it has a really big horizontal hitbox, so you can harass people like with, with neutral JB in the corner and stuff. After that, we got JC, and JC is on the same boat, but it's a lot more active, and it does a lot more damage as well. But it's a pretty decent uh, and like air to air normal and also just a keep out button similar to like Jin JC. Okay, keep them keep them away. Keep them in the corner like that. Uh, after that we have her best air normal, JD, and it's just like like Grants. That freaking this JD is super good as well. Grants and Catalina's JC JD are freaking redonka donk. They're super good. Um, crosses up, big hitbox, active as F. All right, so that's her uh, her air normals. Now we have her unique attacks, which she has a uh, light shield or, or, or light wall, which is basically, this is like focused attack. This is focused attack. It takes one hit of armor, and if you charge it up all the way, it causes a crumple, which allows you to, to continue the combo, which allows for big damage. Big damage. So this is what really separates Catalina from most of her uh, her characters that are in the same archetype category. The light wall is super good. And this is also what separates Gran from Catalina, as well as her fireball, because her fireball is freaking, super freaking good. But light wall is definitely like a movement option and, a, and an option for you to use to be able to feel out the neutral as well. And you can also juke the opponent out and you can also try to get in if they start swinging from far. Because if you, you light wall, they're far normal in the neutral, you can get in by dashing forward. So that's pretty good. Uh, also takes one hit only. Wait, what? Fully charged also takes one hit only. Wait, what? Yes, yes, it does. No matter what, light wall takes one hit. One hit. That's it. After that, it, you're, you're, you're done. Like, let me demonstrate. Yeah, just like that. Takes one hit. Well, he didn't reach me, but you, you get the point. It's only one hit. Very, very cool. This is what makes me really like Catalina. Light wall. Um, after that, you have 2D, which is a very good low, by the way. Extremely good sweep. Look how far that reaches, man. Oh, my God. Look at that. Freaking really good. One of the best sweeps I think I've seen in this game. So, very good. It's fast, too. Uh, that's her unique attacks. Now to move on to her special moves. I'm sorry, her grabs. Let's do her grabs. That's her grab right there. Forward grab. Back grab. Oh, I should show that off a little, a little bit better. There's that. And there's that. Pretty cool grabs, to be honest with you. Uh, after that, I think that is it for that department. Let me go ahead and do... Wait, is there taunts in this game, by the way? I hope there is. None of that sissy nonsense. Is there taunts in this game? There is? What is it? Oh! I'm so happy there's taunts! Oh my god! Finally! We get freaking taunts, man! I'm so sick and tired of not having a taunt! You have any idea how many times I wanted to style on people? And I couldn't? All I could do is teabag so I look like an absolute buffoon? That's so cool! Oh my god, air grabs! I forgot all about those. As a BB tag player, I don't know what air grabs are. Let's go over close normals. We got 5A. Pretty good 5A, actually. 
pretty decent. Uh, just like every other close 5A. After that, we got fi close 5B. Close 5B. Eh, pretty. It's a close 5B. Then after that, we got 5C. This is a really cool close 5C because you can actually interrupt quite a bit of things. Because it's really quick. And, it, dude, it leads to t a ton of damage. My favorite anti-airs, I saw a Catalina anti-air with 5C and do crazy damage. Crazy. Do a combo. Converted in the corner. It's freaking really good. Let's go over special moves. Fireball. You got fire, light fireball. B fireball. You actually recover a lot faster. And it's a lot quicker, too. Anyways, yeah. There you go. So that's the uh, fireball. EX fireball is super mad good. Multiple hits when you can actually combo off of it, too. Which how, how she leads to some big damage in the corner. After that, we have Lunge, 2148. That's mostly just for combo enders and for combo extenders with the EX version. So there's that. After that, we have uh, DP, which is that, the A version, the B version, and the C version. All of them are invincible. Of course, the DP is probably the best combo ender. DPs, main combo ender, invincible, get off me tool, all that good jazz. Uh, after that, that's pretty much it. That she only has three, uh, three moves. I'm pretty sure, right? She is super good, by the way. She's so much fun. She's definitely one of my favorite characters to play in this in this game. Mostly because she's got like freaking everything, dude. She's got a tool for every single situation. She's got. She's very well equipped. She does damage. She plays neutral extremely well. Her buttons are freaking ridiculous. Light wall makes things really interesting for the character as well with movement and with how you approach the neutral. Fireball game is on freaking point with this character, too. This character's fireball is Radonka Donk. The fireball game is better than ever before with this character, for sure. She's got some pretty good air normals, too, including that JD, the cross-up tool. This JD is super good, too. Good cross-up. That's about it. Anyways, let's go over Charlotta. This, this very nice potato with... Uh... By the way, I got a freaking Charlotta emote. Can you please spam the Charlotta emote? For everybody to see, this is the time to advertise. Anyways, far proximity normals. Let's take a look at Charlotta. Far proximity normals. Actually, that's that's pretty far. It reaches upward, too, to make up for her size, I'm pretty sure. By the way, that crown is a hitbox, so you can hit that you can hit that crown as much as you'd like. Uh, that's far 5A, 5B. She, it's, all these moves are pretty stubby, but she uh, makes up for it for being super quick and super freaking obnoxious. She gets on. She's like a Kuma in a way. And then we have 5C, which is a large, like, it winds up, man. Freaking large blowback 5C. Big damage, special cancelable. It's a freaking delicious move to hit in the neutral. Anyways, so there's that. Those are far for too many normals. Then she has 2A. 2A is actually pretty good because it combos into each other. And you can actually get some pretty decent combos off of 2A. And confirms, I mean. After that, we have uh, 2B, which is a mid. Pretty interesting horizontal slash. It's all right. And 2C. I'm not sure I feel about this as an anti-air. It looks really janky, but I can be wrong about that. This could be the best anti-air in the game. I'm not sure. I've never seen anybody anti-air with 2C. But it could be a thing. Could be a thing. It just looks very strange. After that, we have her jumping normal. JA. By the way, JA. The God button. The God button. This was nerfed. In, uh, from the beta because this the hitbox of this JA was ginormous and they so they increased the hurtbox and they decreased the hitbox and I think they did that with all JAs because they were they're so active you can jump and literally just do it and then get a free combo off of it of course but uh, anyways that's JA JB is uh, pretty good but it doesn't have too much range by the way her jump is super fast so she is a very fast character this you I'm pretty sure you can cross up with it you can doesn't have too much hit stun though, but that doesn't matter because you can just mash 5B and you get a combo. Uh, JC. JC is probably going to be a better version of it. This is going to be a best jumping button. Just like that. And then there's JD. JD is going to be more of a horizontal slash in the air. So not the greatest vertical reach, but horizontally it's pretty freaking good. Um, it doesn't cross up. I'm not sure. Yeah, it doesn't cross up. So JC, JB are going to be your main... Uh, jump-ins. So, with that being said, we have uh, 5D, which is going to be a parry. So whenever you hit this parry, she does something really cool. Just like that. It's 
pretty freaking dope. And then her 2D sweep, pretty self-explanatory sweep. She moves forward a little bit. She's got some pretty decent range. So that's her sweep. And that's her normals. Um, I know, oh, close proximity normals. Let's do that. We have 5A. Freaking super stubby. Like stubbier than normal 5A, by the way. But it's a 5A. Close 5A. And 5B. 5B seems pretty good, too. Especially for close proximity quarters. So if they try to jump out, you can hit them. And then there's JC. Same thing with JC. She freaking hits it upwards. So the hitbox is uh, seems pretty sizable, too. So anyways... That's her close proximity normals. Now for her grabs. Morata de Animas. I like her grabs, by the way. Especially her back grab. Look at this back grab. I love it. Bam! All right. After that, we have her air grab. That's her air grab. And that's pretty much... Oh, taunt! Love it! Love it! Show it, girl! Love it. Uh, after that, uh, we got special moves, and she's a charge character, so keep that in mind with her moves. We have rolling down the river. A version, B version knocks down, and C version knocks down and also wall bounces, so you can continue combos. Um, after that, we have her flurry attack, which is a motion attack. Quarter circle back A. Quarter circle back B. And quarter circle back C. And quarter circle back C is actually a... Uh, it's actually plus... So you can combo off of it. Yeah, like that. And then after that, we have her DP, which is charge down and then up with A, charge down and up with B, and the C version. Good damage, lots of hits, pretty good. Of course, you can do them with the easy button, but the charging motion for that is not too bad and can really improve you. If you use the manual motions, you'll feel real good. So there's that, and I'm pretty What's sure that is it for her. Ever, does everybody have? No, there's another one. Oh, Noble. How could I forget about this? Noble Strategy, which is her Demon Flip. We call it Demon Flip because a character in Street Fighter V called Akuma has this very same move with follow-ups and everything, just like Charlotta. So if you press down, down A, and you don't press anything else, you get the low. Okay, let's do the B version, and then the C version. The C version definitely has is a lot quicker, and the hop is shorter, basically. Anyways, so while she's in the air, she has some follow-ups. So if you don't do anything, you get the low. If you press the A version, you get this lunge or dive kick that she has, I think. I have to take a look at the frame data for this one, actually. So I am even after this, actually. That is good to know. So it's safe. That is safe. Wow, that's pretty awesome. How about this? Oh, wait. This is safe. The B version, that's an overhead. And it's safe, too. That's a safe overhead. Wow, that's that's crazy. And then the C version, it's a grab. Time it or space it correctly. And there's a throw. So they have to crouch this. So if they crouch it, then they don't get hit. Yeah. That's how you escape that. Yeah, you can't do it. So this is a dive kick that can be pretty freaking dangerous. She can reset pressure and crap like that. So be very careful about this freaking potato. She'll go all over the place, reset pressure, make you block forever if you don't anti her correctly or interrupt her correctly. All right, so that's that one. Uh, EX version. Of course, you can cross up because it's so low to the ground. And, of course, the cooldown is immense. So you can do things like that. Be careful. She is obnoxious she might not be the greatest and in terms of to range or anything like that but she's fast and she's obnoxious so be very 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 careful so we have lancelot this guy is a fast mother pfeiffer he is the rushdown character of the game he's got teleports he's got lunges he's got different ways to make you block projectiles all that good stuff uh with that being said let's take a look at his far normals we got 5a super freaking fast by the way spam it as well 5b these these uh moves don't really have too much range except for 5c far 5c has the most range it's pretty freaking good for neutral purposes and for whiff punishing uh, anyways that's his far proximity normals 2a probably a one of the best two a's in the game because it's it's, look at how freaking fast it is. Uh, nonetheless, uh, 2A, very, very good. In the beta, this was one of the best, if not the best 2A in the game, right next to Grand's. Uh, there's two, 2A, 2B. 
Ooh, it's an okay 2B. Okay. It's a mid, I'm pretty sure. Yep, it's a mid. It's all right. And then 2C, main anti-air. It's an anti-air, so be sure to use it whenever they take flight. It's not super great. It doesn't seem like, not like, not like, uh, for example, like, Cat, not Catalina's, um, Zetas and, and Grants. So, anyways, 2C two, two is that. And then after that, we have uh, the air normals. We have JA. Another active JA, just like everybody else. JB. It's going to be the cross up. Just like that. If you ever want to do that, it's kind of, you got kind of have to time it because the hitbox isn't too big. But, anyways, that's JB. But JC is the one that you want to do for jump ins. Double hitting. Both hits are overhead. And you can cancel one hit, or the first hit at least. So you can do a low. Yep, so you can kind of be very mischievous with this JC, the jumping JC. Anyways, after that we have JD, which is going to be a uh, part of his unique skills, uh, or unique moves, which is his teleport. And in the air, he can teleport here, he can teleport there, he can teleport to the other side, it's pretty freaking good. And then of course in the, on the ground, he can teleport here, just like that. Yeah, this is definitely one of his most, like, sneakiest or I should say gimmicky tools that he's got because he can literally cross up and be on the same side just like that or I, he can be like same side like that so it, it can be pretty good Lancelot's know how to make use of this for sure the JD uh, and then there's 5D which is a uh, dash that he's got after that he's got 2D which is probably I think the best sweep in the game in my opinion because it, it's a slide. Not only is it a slide, but he crouches mad low. So he can low profile projectiles. Let me see if he can low profile. He can pro low profile uh, Catalinas. I want to see if he can do it with Grants. Yep, he can low profile uh, Grants too. So that 2D, mad good. Mad good. Let's go over his grabs. Sick back grab, by the way. Back throw. And regular throw. Sick throw as well. Oh, by the way, you can actually jump off walls by uh, pressing uh, towards the wall and just pressing uh, pressing left. If you're on the if you're on this side, you just go forward and press back, just like that. You can do this and just uh, you can mix up like that. Anyways, that being said, we got his taunt. Oops. Damn, you are tall, actually, Lancelot. You're a tall, handsome mother fifer. Look at you. Air grab. <coughs> cool air grab. Uh, oh, close proximity normals as well. 5A. Pretty good. Plus on block. Just like every other close 5A. And uh, good combo starter. 5B. Similar to 5A. I would just rather use 5, 5A. But if, unless you want to do it in a combo. In that case, you can use 5C. Because it's it, it hits twice. It's really freaking good. So, after that. Oh, I forgot the overheads, by the way. Every character has an overhead universally. So anyways, 5C. Let's go ahead and take a look at his special moves, which is going to be his fireball, light fireball, B fireball, B fireball by the way, and C fireball, which hits three times. It's really freaking good. Lancelot can literally knock down, summon a EX uh, projectile, and mix you up. Just like that. Anyways, there's his projectile. After that, we have his, his Rekka series. He does have a Rekka. Which is cool. If you don't know what a Rekka is, it's basically when you press a specific... It's a special move that has multiple sequences. So, for example, he has Square Circle Forward A, or Square Circle Back A. But if you do it again, you get a second part. And if you do it three times, one, two, three, you get the full special move. And that's what's called a Rekka. Okay, just to let you guys know if you guys don't know about it. After that... Oh, there's the B version too. Which is a heavier version, but it does more damage. Yeah, there's more damage. An EX version, which he goes nuts. And you can confirm pretty easily, by the way. You can do... And then you can do, like, a EX fireball to mix up after that. All that good stuff. All right. After that, he has his lunge, which is this move. It's 6-6, six, six, or, or forward, forward. Forward, forward A. Forward, forward B. And forward, forward C. Forward, forward C, if you space it correctly, you can combo off of it. You can combo off of it. 
like that. Do you think Fairy and Medra will give him problems? Yes. Uh, anybody that can fill up the screen can give uh, can give Lancelot problems. Uh, because his strengths are when he gets in. So if you can prevent that from happening, then yeah, he can have some issues. But once he gets in, it's pretty hard to shake him off. He's just like Charlotta where he's uh, he can get in and he can be obnoxious with a lot of his stuff. Especially his 2As, his Rekkas. So he can do like... You can do things like that. You don't have to finish the Rekka uh, and just go for throws and stuff. And then he's got his teleports, which can be obnoxious as well. Uh, anyways, nonetheless, uh, he's a really cool character that's rushed down. And if you want to just rush the opponent down like crazy and just do some pretty good Oki uh, wake-up situations for him, go ahead and do it. Okay, here we go. So let's go ahead and do this. We got Percival, which is freaking gorgeous, man, by the way. Very tall, very handsome, very fiery, hot, caliente, spicy, whatever you want to put it. Let's go take a look at his far proximity normals, 5A. This 5A is mad good because it actually can be a pretty good anti-air if they start jumping from that range over where Gran is right now. It's not a great anti-air for when he's like up here, but when he's like far away and they're trying to get in, and they're trying to get in on your fireballs, sometimes 5A can be really good for just swatting them out of the air. Sometimes that happens. It's kind of weird. So <laughs> just to kind of show you. Get out of my face! Be gone! It's one of those buttons. It's kind of cool. I like the 5A a lot. Um, but, however, you can crouch it. So be careful with that. Yeah. So be careful with that. Far 5B, which is a freaking ridiculous button, by the way. Far 5B is super cool looking, and it's really it reaches really far. Neutral button, for sure. Far 5C, also a very large button. It's a little slower than the, the other ones that I've seen, but it's good for if you want to just throw out a button. Just be careful because they can whiff punish you easily. Very whiff punishable move, uh, but also this is a good a button to whiff punish other people too. So anyways, that's as far 5C. Very, 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 very large. 2A. We have 2A. 2A is actually really freaking good because you can actually confirm it into his dash and into big damage. Uh, where was it? Or DP. Whoops. Anyways, yeah, 2A, very good. Hit confirmable, all that good stuff. Uh, after that, you got 2B. 2B is a very interesting button. I had never... It's really... It's like he's playing pool. Anyways, yeah, that's 2B. It's a, it's, it's a mid. Believe it or not, even though he's stabbing you in your toes... That's a mid. After that's 2C, and that is an anti-air. Very good anti-air because he crouches down, hiding his hurt box, and a big hit box to anti-air you. Pretty good. Anyways, that's 2C, anti-air. They take flight, knock him out of the air with 2C. After that, we have his jumping normals, 5A, JA, I mean, which is, of course, just like every other JA, active as hell. 5JB. JB, pretty good uh, for horizontal strikes. Uh, so good air-to-air -air moments. And then JC, that is your jump-in button. When you jump in at somebody, this is what you want to use. Bam! Doink! And then, of course, there's JD. JD is actually a mid, and it's similar to a Helmbreaker. If you don't know what a Helmbreaker is, it's a move that comes directly downward. It stops momentum, and you just come straight down. So no matter what, like, normally, if I super jump right here, I go to the other side, right? But if I press JD in the middle of that, I, I stay half, I stay on the same side. So it stops my momentum. And it comes straight down. That's a that's a Helmbreaker, or slang for those type of moves. Anyways, JC is going to be the one that you want to do for, for cr cross-ups. Is this cross-up? Not really, because it doesn't really cross-up. Actually, it doesn't cross-up at all. So no. Um, cross-up is going to be JB. That one right there. JB's a cross-up. After that, we have uh, the, I'm sorry, the uh, unique attack, 5D, which is a command grab. You cannot block this. It's a throw, which means that you have to either jump it or backdash from it. And he can get a combo off of this. So he can get a combo. So be careful. Like that. There you go. You can get a combo off of that, so be careful with that. The thing is, it doesn't have too much range, so even like from, you have to be literally right next to them. Right next to them. So there's that. Bam, command grab. 
Anyways, after that, we got 2D, which is a sweep. Very good sweep, very fast. Not the greatest of range, but it's still a sweep nonetheless with okay range, average. Now his close proximity attacks. We got 5A. Oh my god, that is a bitch slap if I've ever seen one. I actually did not realize how <laughs> to 5B. Good, because it has a really big hitbox above him. 5C, simple, close, close 5C. Combo starter, all that good stuff. And after that, we have his grab. Sick ass grab. We have his back grab, sick ass back throw. And of course, we have. That's his air grab. And then his taunt. I don't know what he just said, but it sounded beautiful. It sounded beautiful. Anyways, that was his taunt. Moving on to his uh, special attacks, we have his fireball. Very good fireball because it travels on the ground and it doesn't have a lot of recovery. It just has quite a bit of, of startup. And it's it's like Gunflame from uh, Guilty Gear, Soul Bad Guy, Gunflame. Travels on the ground. It doesn't travel full screen. It disappears after a certain amount. So that's the 5A. Um, the A version, I mean. The B version. And the C version. C version is just really fast and doesn't have a lot of recovery. Okay. That's his A version, his B version. So pretty good projectile for up close and for Oki and for um, trying to harass the opponents with fireballs. So there's that. There's also his... Um, this is what makes this character interesting. Installs. Installs, if you don't know what installs are, they're basically just a when you either have a stock or uh, a specific mode that you enter where something gets enhanced. So this is a stock. That means if he has one, one of his special moves are going to be enhanced. Okay? So if you have one, one of his special moves are going to be enhanced. So let's go over the other special moves. So there's the fireball one. Let's go over all the moves, actually. So that one got, in got enhanced. So anyways, let's go over the other moves, and we'll see the other installs, by the way. Um, we have his uh, command dash. Command dash right here. It's course to go back. And off of this dash, he has multiple things. He's got the A version. Has a low, which is pretty cool. B version has this crazy mid that is plus on block, by the way. So do not challenge after this, unless you're for sure thinking he's not going to hit a button. So if you block all, <laughs> bam, you are plus on block. You are hella plus. So plus on block means that they cannot challenge you when you make do this move. Like You can continue pressure after this move. So keep that in mind. After that, uh, oh, and uh, we have the C, C version, which is a mid. It's a combo ender, and it does a bunch of damage, especially when it's enhanced. So that's that. EX versions of all this. So that's that. Whoops. Whoops. EX version. There's that. He's actually plus on block there. After that, he has this one. Big damage. And there's that. Okay, so that's all that, and then his DP. This is A version, B version. What's interesting about his DP is that he moves forward, uh, and then C version. Very good DP, especially for interrupting and getting them off you. Okay, now we went all through all his special moves. Let's go over his installs. So the A version of install, it's down, down, or 2-2. Two, 2-2A two. Two, two gives you one stock. 2-2B two, two gives you three stocks. And 2-2-C two, two gives you all the stocks. And all, uh, he can get up to five. Okay? When you get five, he becomes crazy. First of all, A version does not get enhanced. B version does. Just like that. After that is 2-1-4. I'm sorry, uh, DP. Look at the DP. Now you get a lot more hits and a lot more damage. EX version, big damage. Okay, and after that, the dash, the command dash norm uh, specials get enhanced as well. Big damage, big damage. Look at that damage. He got when he's installed and he does that. The C version, he gets that zoom in. It's a bit, it's a ton of damage, dude. Anyways, uh, oh, there's another thing too. I realized. 
install has a hitbox. So, but it's not really super great, only because you can't really combo into it, per se. Uh, the only way you can combo into it is if you do a sweep into install, which is, isn't that great. I wish you could uh, do, like, that into install. That would be pretty cool, but I think that would make them really freaking good. And it's mostly prevalent in the corner, too. So just keep that in mind that you can uh, hit... The, the install does have a hitbox. Oh, yeah, EX, EX, uh, EX, uh, fireball. This thing gets crazy. Oops. That goes full screen when it's installed. Yeah, it goes full screen. And I think installed, um, installed fireball also goes full screen. Just regular fireball. Or not. Oh, that's it, B version. I'm sorry. So the B version, go, which is the only version that can be installed or enhanced, it goes full screen. Yeah, so pretty good. So Command Dash, for the most part, is punishable. However, if you do the EX version, it says it's punishable. But if you fake them out, if you fake them out, you can definitely do some shenanigans. Like do that into Command Grab. I'm sorry. Do, uh, I'm sorry. Do that into Command Grab. Yeah. Stuff like that, you can juke them out with this command dash. So use it sparingly because if they catch on, they can interrupt you. But if you want to be gimmicky, you want to be risky, ballsy, you can go ahead and just like do a string into command dash into throw. But if they know that you're going to throw afterwards, you can definitely try to uh, interrupt them by like going for the low, which because it's safe on block. Or go for this, which makes you plus on block. Stuff like that. So, with that being said, that is pretty much Percival in a nutshell. Yeah, that is that is one fabulous mamma jamma. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Uh Far 5A. Uh Far 5A, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's whatever. It's active and you can hit people. It's it's faster than any of our other normals up up here. Far 5B actually has a pretty good range. Right there, it's pretty awesome. Far 5, what the hell? Far 5C, this is Sparta Kick. I love it. I'm pretty sure this is special cancelable. Yes, it is. So it's really good for whiff punishing. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, that's for far normals. Lows, we got 2A. Wow, is that even a low? No, it's a mid. Oh, that sucks. Anyways, 2B, is that a low? That's a low. She's the only character that has a 2A that's a mid and a 2B that's a low. Wow. We found one. Okay, so there's that. 2B. Pretty good for a low. <laughs> and then we got 2A. Uh, I'm sorry, 2C, which is her main anti-air. I'm wondering how big the hitbox is for this one. But I imagine it's better than nothing. Anti-air there. Uh, after that, we have uh, her air normals, which is going to be that. She's the only character that doesn't have a super active JA. So this one is similar to like Zangief from uh, SF4 or SF5 where she has a knee cross up. It's a light, doesn't have a lot of hits done. So she can mix up some command grabs after this. JB, that's a good uh, jump in. It's got good vertical reach as well. Look at that, reaches far down, pokes downward. That's JB, JC. Ooh, body splash, there's a cross up. The cross up? No, it does not cross up. It's like a body, weird body splash. Anyways, uh, it's all right. JD, there's the body splash. Is this cross up? It does. This is the button. This is the button. JD, look at that. Look at that button. That is a beautiful button. That being said, let's go over her, her unique moves. Freaking love that, by the way. I'm just saying. They got the freaking sound effects. They got the beautiful, beautiful little dance. And he freaking tosses you. She freaking tosses you to the corner, allowing for a combo. The only thing is, this has a lot of startups. So it's very noticeable. So you can jump out of it in time. So let's take a look at this. Wow. It's Patrick. It's actually Patrick. Oh my god, Patrick, how you doing, man? Uh, Come, dear. Let's get to it. What? Say that again. 
Come to Don't act rash. Catalina! Christ Almighty! Patrick. Come, dear. Let's get to it. Come, dear. Let's get to it. Wow, Patrick. All right. Should we go throughout this whole thing in English? All right. We're doing the whole thing in English. The rest of this in English. This is a multilingual. Multilingual. Apologies, chat room. We're, this is a multilingual video slash overview. Let's do it. Oh, yes. We just finished the jumping normals. That's right. So let's do close proximity normals then. Let's do 5A. Let's do that. 5B. Interesting 5B. Weird 5B. Oh! That is sick! Whoa! That is the sickest button ever! Well, that's that. That's the close 5C. That's the sickest button we've had so far. Oh, I know where we left off. Uh, after that, we have 2D, which is a big ol' bam. It's, it reminds me of Kanji, uh, Kanji 2C. Dude, did you see? Man, he, the way he fixes his hair. The way he fixes his hair, dude. That's pretty cool. This is small things, man. I'm telling you. It's the little things that you pay attention to. Um, What else do we have? That's pretty much that for his unique attacks and his Don't close proximity rash. normals. And we have a uh, back throw. Pretty pretty straightforward uh, g r uh, grabs. So, Okay, so after that we have uh, air, air grab. Oh, yeah. That's dope. Oh, yeah. yeah. Kool-Aid man, Patrick. Kool-Aid man for that. Uh, special moves now. Let's move on to special moves. So Don't we have core circle forward A, which is a headbutt. The B version, slower. Oh my god, dude, she hits hard, and you can combo off of it. That's freaking sick. You can actually nullify projectiles with them. So like, just like that, like that. You see that? So if you can react to it, you can just completely nullify them. Oh, the EX one I think is three times, right? Yeah. The EX version, you can do it up to three times. Like I said, nullifies projectiles, and it's a good combo ender. And also the B version, if you start up with it, you can actually combo. Sorry. Yeah, just like that. Okay, after that quarter circle back, A. Lariat. Runs up. <coughs> B version. C version. Damn. Ah! Oh, I forget that you can do more multiple things. That's right, that's right. 5D, you can actually throw them upward. So you can do this. So you can throw them to the wall, or you can throw them up in the air. Just like that. I forgot about that. And then I think you can do like a lariat off of it. Yeet! And you can combo off of it. It's pretty cool. 360. Is it the other way? It is the other way. Damn, that pile driver's sick! Look at that. Pile driver! I like it. Now you feel the love. Uh, what's after that? Oh, air pile driver. Whoops, wrong one. Okay. He said, mm -hmm. "Did you hear that?" He said, mm -hmm. "This character's sick." Oh my god, dude. This character's sick. All right, so let's take a look at Madara. Let's take a look at everything. Far 5A. She has a weird far 5A. Is that a low? It is a low. Wow, at specific ranges, you can use that as a low and do all sorts of weird things to it. That's interesting. It's really fast, too. 5B, far 5B. Far reaching. Far reaching. Not an overhead. Ooh. Oh, she said something else. Ooh. Oh. 5C, which is really cool. It actually fires a shot similar to how Hawkeye did. And uh, I, I think Yukari did as well. Does not go full screen, however. It only goes about a third of the screen. Or half of the screen, depending on where the opponent's posi positioned. But it does fire a single arrow down the middle. After that, we have the crouching normals. 2A. Pretty self-explanatory 2A. 
After that, we have 2B. Damn, she swings that bow mad far. Look at that. And he has that weird sound effect. Damn. Got 2C. <coughs> 2C, which I'm guessing is the anti-air. However, it doesn't seem super great as an anti-air, mostly because it's angled at a 45-degree angle instead of actually having a, a full hitbox. I have to take a look to see how this works as an anti-air, actually. Oh! Oh! So she has a 1C and she has a 3C or a 2C. She has two of them. One that shoots straight up and one that shoots at a 45 degree angle. We're going to go ahead and do... Uh, that's that's the anti-air. That's 2C crouching normals. Pretty nice. Uh, after that, we have jumping normals, which is going to be JA. Whoa! Uh, JB, which is a really cool normal, actually, but it's more hor has a lot of horizontal reach. Not too much of a vertical reach, but it's really cool because it's got like this double hit to it. And it's pretty, and because it has two hits, you can actually do it pretty early. Oh, hold on a minute. Does it only hit once? No, there we go. There's the two hits. Anyways, JB. JC is going to be the, the jump in button. I think this is the button you want to use to be able to jump in on your opponent. Does it cross up? No, it does not. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so JC, that's the that's that's the jumping button. After that, we have oh yeah, JD, the unique action. This is one of the few characters that actually has two jumps or multiple jumps, which you and you can uh, you can um, change the trajectory of the second jump. So Metara can actually jump up in the air and also press JD to jump in any direction she wants, backwards and f or forwards. She has one on the ground and one in the air, just like that. Okay, so we got that. Uh, after that, we have her other unique stuff. So, of course, her ground uh, ground command dash, or command hop, I should say. And she also has the air version, of course, and you can... There's that. We also have 2D. Bison slide. It goes pretty far. Does it go full screen? Uh, about half screen. Half screen. Her uh, grabs. Oops. Ooh! <coughs> love it! Love it! Oh! Love it! There we go. Ta-da! Ta-da! After that, what do we got? Uh, taunt! Oh my god. I love thoughts. That's what makes the thoughts go round. Special moves now, huh? So let's go ahead and do special moves. We have quarter circle forward A, which is an overhead. I'm sorry, a high, which you can crouch. The B version goes a lot faster. C version knocks down, actually. Quarter circle back is actually the low shot, which is still a mid, but lows a little lower. And the reason why she has a low shot is because she can actually... You can actually crouch this high shot. So, if you start crouching like this, and she throws a, uh, a high shot, you can crouch it. So, you have to be able to differentiate between the two to be able to, to uh, keep them out. That's the whole point of her archetype, is, to, is a keep out character. Let them get too close, you failed your mission. You have to hop away uh, when they get too close. So, differentiate between the two, and make sure that you can, uh, you can get those. Yeah, you can do a whole bunch of different things like that and figure out some patterns to be able to shoot your arrows. So that's course go back B, course go back C, and it also knocks down, which is nice. So that's that. After that, what do we got? I think we got 2-2-A. 2-2-A is her butterfly, which what this does is basically once you shoot an arrow through that, uh, through that butterfly, it summons a lightning bolt, which it, you can make a wall. So if you do 2-2-A like that and then you shoot it, with that, and I think with also, um, yeah, and with 5C as well. That's what I thought. So with 5C, that's pretty good. After that, um, oh, the EX version, she summons two of them. So you can you can do a whole bunch of different things. She has them in the air, by the way. Here I am. So if you shoot, like, uh, if you do a butterfly like that, you can do that. Yeah, just like that. So it's pretty cool. She has some pretty free flow and some cool free flow conversions, which was super nice. 
Okay. God, there's so many horny people right now. Never had so many horny people in my life. I've never had so many people beg for, for Japanese dub. All right, so... Uh, what else? What else? There's another one too. I think it's this. There we go. It's DP motion, which is she summons a specific uh, as a little cloud that can fire down arrows. And this is also added to the list of of moves that you can actually use to be able to blow up the butterflies. So if you summon the butterfly, oh wait, is that not a move? I thought it was. It's not. I'm I am mistaken, chat room. I apologize. Oh, okay. Thank you, chat. So you can blow up one of the butterflies, only the upward butterfly, with the shower. Yeah, only with the upward butterfly can you blow up with the shower. Cool. So there's that. After that, we got close proximity normals. We got close 5A, which is a bitch slap. Damn. It's not like a bean dip. It's more like a bean dip than a bitch slap. It's like a bean dip. Yeah, that's a bean dip. Uh, f close 5B. What the hell? I think she summons an arrow. Yeah, that's an arrow. And it hits you with it. And then close 5C, this is one of the cool things about her close 5C. It's multi-hitting, so you can do some pretty cool combos. I saw a really cool combo being tweeted up by Flux that utilized close 5C and the butterflies. It's really freaking cool. I might want to try to um, copy-paste that, that, uh, that combo and try to attempt it. So anyways, that's pretty much Metra in a nutshell. That is for special moves or uh, close proximity normals or far proximity normals and all that good stuff. So, that's Metra. All right. So, let's take a look at his far proximity normals. Got 5A, which is actually pretty good, actually. He's got some pretty good range. And it's, I don't know. It just looks really cool, too. I don't know. It's something about him, like, taking a step forward and stabbing you. I like it. Far 5B. Damn, that is far, man. Who gave him this button? Whose idea was this? Far, far 5C. Far 5B, farther than Far 5C, huh? Okay, so Far 5C seems to be the button that's the most active. This is definitely the neutral button that you want to use. And this is the Whiff Punisher, of course. And then you can, of course, go into a special move or whatever, whatever, whatever. Let's guard down. I like his walk. His walk is funny. Okay, uh, that's his uh, Far Proximity Normals. We got 2A. Okay, 2A seems really freaking good, especially if you can combo three up to three times like that. I don't know if his Rekka's combo into it. Let me see. Nope, it does not. That's fine. So, 2A, pretty good low. Self-explanatory. 2B, wow. That is not a low, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, that is not a low. I repeat. Oh, wait, let me have you guys. Hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, that is not a low. That is a mid. Yes. That is a mid. <laughs> 2C. Really good anti-air, actually. R looks like a really big hitbox on, um, upward. Like a, a hitbox over his head. Air normals. Oh, boy. What the f What? Are you serious? Yeah, let's freaking nerf... Charlotte is because it not only has the size, the hitbox the size of freaking Mars, but it's really long too. In comes Lewayne. Anyways, hopefully you can anti-air the sucker. We really doing this? We really doing this? Yeah. That is a large foot. JA, active as hell. Hopefully you can anti-air easily. I'm not going to test it right now. Uh, JB. JB seems to be uh, pretty, not too much hit stun, but it is... Uh, a jump in. It has. It's all right. It's not that too great. Oh, there's the one that you want right here. JC. Isn't it? Is it a cross up too? Oh, uh, that's deceiving. Anyways, that's JC. Oh, there it is. Oh my God. Tiptoeing in my Jordans. JD. This is like uh, Slayer's uh, air air normal. Nice, JD. Can I cross up? No, I cannot cross up. Anyways, that's it. Lowane. You know? Uh, after that, what do we have? We have 5D. It's 5D, which is his unique attack. Unique attack. And depending on which item you get, it's all random. 
So depending on which one you get, you could get more gauge or more health, which is freaking so dumb. Damn, I thought he had a limit on it, but no, he can literally spam it. Gain a ton of life, gain a ton of freaking... Oh, did he say that's a Mori? Salad break. Too corny. That's a Mori. That's a Mori. Ah, this guy. Okay. Uh, after we have 2D, which is... He, like, slides forward a little bit. It's a pretty decent sweep, but <coughs> not super great. Anyways, so that's the sweep and his unique moves. After we got his close proximity normals, close 5A. Then nice gut check. 5B. Ooh, multi-hitting close 5B. That's pretty cool, actually. That's like Yosuke. That's like Yosuke's 5A and BB tag. Close 5C, multi-hitting, two slashes to the face. Let's put a smile on that face. Pretty nice. After that, we have his throw. Nice. Uh, hoop, hoop, hoop. Hip, hip, hooray. Yeah, he just dives down. Pretty self, you know, pretty whatever average air grab. Uh, taunt. I don't want to hurt you. Whoa. I don't want to hurt you. He compliments you. Ten out of ten as always. Damn. Let's go ahead and do, of course, I go forward A. Sammy. I'm pretty sure that's a low. That is a low. And of course, I go forward B. You ready to rock? Tommy. Boop, boop. So, Tommy. You cannot summon Sammy until Tommy's out and vice versa. And the EX version, Bro both of them. Fam. Bro fam! And it has some pretty decent hits done too, so you can continue combos. Oh yeah, holy crap, Lowane. All right, sounds good. Uh, of course, I go back A. It's a Rekka. Of course, I go back B. And of course, I go back C. Wall bounces too. Yep, that's his Rekka series. It's not really a Rekka, it's more like a, it's a move. Depending on which which uh, button you press, you get multiple hits. Uh, EX version wall bounces too. So there's that. Uh, After that, we have... What is this called again? Catapult or something like that? Caterpillar? Oh. It is, okay. So that one is 2-2-A. Two, two, down, down, A. Down, down, B. Laser beam! And 2-2-C. Two, two, Booby rockets. What a face, look at this guy. Sweet. So it's a, it's a parry. Oh, adorable. So that's a low, by the way. Down here. So I can do down here. Down here. Oh. Down here. Bam, bitch. <laughs> okay, do that again. That's the low parry. Low parry. And now to do a high parry. There we go. Ready? Bitch. It's like that. What about projectiles? Okay, so it does parry projectiles. I wonder if you can punish that. I'll have to test that out later. That is all of his special moves. That's pretty much... Oh, and, and EX. Hold on, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. EX. EX version also parries highs and lows. So A version parries highs, and then B version parries lows, and then C version parries both. And that's pretty much low end in a oh. nutshell. So let's go ahead and do... Fairy. This is the character I know the most about because I played a ton of Fairy in the beta. All right, so here we go. Let's take a look at Fairy and her. <coughs> excuse me. And her. Uh, oh, what's her voice actress? That's Noel. Holy crap. Okay, so let's take a look at her far normals. You got 5A, which is, is such a fantastic. Look at that sound effect, dude. Watch. Wapa! Whoppa! After that, uh, this is a super freaking good move just because it's it keeps him far away. It has really good like recovery and good. It's really fast too, and it's also special cancelable. So if they try to, you can definitely try to dodge um, between the gap, but you can definitely like do this into GG or something like that. Anyways, there's that and far five B, which is probably gonna be your main neutral tool. She's all about just. This is my space. Do not enter it. The best way to handle fairy is to definitely dodge, spot dodge, and to roll. The thing is with roll is that you can't really rely on it too much because she has 2B. 
We'll go over that in just a moment. But Far 5B, one of your main tools to be able to keep them out. Far 5C is also really good. It goes even farther than Far 5B. It's also special cancelable. So all those are. After that, we have her. That's all her Far Proximity Normals. And then you got 2A, which is just like Catalina's. So it's not bad. Uh, anyways, 2A is a 2A. Uh, 2B is going to be... And by the way, this is one of the few normals that's a 2B. <coughs> that's a low. Yes, you heard me correctly. The move where Lewayne shanks your ankles and, sh and clips your toes is not a low. But this is a low. Okay, then. So yeah, that's a low. And this is the main reason why dodge, uh, not spot dodging, rolling or, or uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. It's uh, dodge rolling. That's what it is. Dodge rolling is not super great against Fairy because she can do two Bs. And dodge rolling is not involved with low moves. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's 2B. One of her best moves for damn sure. 5B, 2B, 5C. Okay. So good. After that, we got 2C. Which is her man anti air. It's not super great, but it's better than nothing, really. Hopefully, they added some invul frames to, or head invul frames to this move. But it's uh, her main anti air, right next to possibly Beppo. Okay, so after that, we got air moves. That's her crouching moves, by the way. Air moves. We have JA, which is really freaking good. Is it still? Hold on a minute. Yes, it is. It's still an instant overhead. Sick. All right, so. J.A. Instant overhead. This is what made this character super freaking good in the beta. And what makes her really good right now. She's got some gnarly setups with GG. And you can choose between overhead or low. For sure. So, and you can convert off of them too. It's uh, depending on the setup. So, J.A. is still a thing. Really fast. Really freaking good for that purpose. J.B. is going to be for air to airing. And for trying to keep them out of the air. So if they try to jump away or jump at you, you can definitely do like a, a jump back JB. That's how I used it. And also to keep them in the corner. So if you're in the corner like this and they try to jump away from you, you can just do like a jump away JB to keep them in the corner. So there's that. And then JC is going to be your main jump in tool. Uh, it's not super fantastic, but it's better than nothing. That's for damn sure. So yeah, main jump in tool JC. No cross ups for her really. So that was her um, air normals, right? After we have JD, which is a dive kick, and it's similar to Dalsim, because depending on which which uh, direction you do, you can do it for, uh, going far away. So let's do it from here. Far away, and one up close, and one the closest. So there's one at uh, a 45 degree angle, one at a, I don't even know what to say, whatever. Tr shapes are hard. So there's J4C, I'm sorry, J4D, which is jumping back and then unique button. And then there's the regular one. And then there is, you say, J, J6C. A uh, J6D, I mean. Which is a jumping forward unique attack. Three different directions she can go down in. And this could be really good because depending on the direction, she can actually make herself safe or plus. But if you mistime it, then it can be really bad. And after that, what else? I think that's, oh, and her sweep. Sweep. Very far. Reaches very, very far. Bam. And then you can do this. <coughs> excuse, me. <coughs> excuse me. Into GG. And you can set up some gnarly stuff, man. So that's her unique attacks. All right. Oh, and uh, by the way, I forgot one. Sorry, sorry. J, uh, uh, 4D. 4D. The reason a J, 4D is super freaking good. There's a couple reasons why. Look at the chip damage. That used to do way more. They actually nerfed the, the damage of the chip. Look at that. Look at that chip damage. That chip damage is outrageous. So her, so her meter build from 4D is huge, and it does a ton of chip damage. Keep that in mind when you play this character and when you're fighting against this character because she is a chip monster. All right? And they nerfed it, too. And then they nerfed that. That chip damage used to do way more. <laughs> yeah. They nerf chip damage in general. What else? Uh, that's her unique attacks. That's it. Close proximity normals. We have close 5A, which is good because just, you know, self-explanatory, close 5A. Then we have close 5B. 
summons the Mezumizan. Uh, close proximity normals. That's pretty much all of her proximity normals. Okay. After that, IB does prevent chip. Thank you for clarifying that. After that, we have her grabs. Damn, Beppo. Good, good stuff, Beppo. Good boy. There you go. And then grab. Nice. I like that. Got a little ghost. I don't remember the names of all her ghosts. She's got quite a few of them. And that's her air grab. That's a pretty freaking cool air grab, to be honest. After that, we got taunt. Whoops. Whoops. Damn! Course to go forward, A. Which is uh, sending out, it's a hit command grab. Which only activates when it when she hits, you get hit. Now here's the difference between this version and the previous version. She, in the previous version, she was way better. The reason why is because they made a universal change that you cannot knock down, like fully knock down, unless it's a sweep or an EX move. So anything that's not an EX move, they can tech out immediately. Which is really freaking good. And and uh, for the opponent that's receiving the whipping, I should say. But uh, And because of that, she can't really set up as well as she used to. You can actually do other things uh, out of this hit command grab. You, if you leave them alone, they blow up where they are. And if you if you press... <coughs> excuse me. If you press back, then you actually get to... You actually get to pull them forward. Uh, um, pull him towards you, I mean. Uh, the B version, this actually goes through projectiles as well, as long as it the actual uh, the whip comes out. This startup right there, that startup is not projectile invul, but once she sends out the whip, it's projectile invul. Uh, what is fully projectile invul is the EX version. EX version is fully projectile invul. And this is where you get to, to the cool stuff. Yeah, stuff like that. Anyways, no, nonetheless, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. So yeah, that's the that special move. You can either bring them forward, or you can leave them out there and get blown up, just like that. Next special move, we have Core Circle Back A, which is a whip move that is super good as well. Here's the reason why. It's because the same reason why uh, 4D is good, the same reason 2 and 4 A, B, D, C, E, F, G, X, I, J, whatever one it is, is really good. So if you do this, it is unsafe, but the pushback makes it so it, it she makes it at least a little bit safe. The B version is the exact same way as well, but the B version is actually safe. The A version is not safe, but it pushes them back, so they have to have a specialized punish for it. The B version, also the same way, so it does quite a bit of chip. Not as much as 4D, but it builds a lot of meter, and it keeps you safe. So if anything, if you're doing things like that, at this point, when you use the A version, they can't really punish you too well. Uh, I know that there's some things that they can do. I think you can go ahead and do a Skybound art, but uh, you have to keep that in mind. If not, just use the B version. But there is a gap, so B, keep that in mind. Because they can super or they can DP right through it. Uh, after that is the, is the EX version. EX version is also safe, but it also uh, wall bounces. Uh, that is the that is that that is a really good special move for her. It knocks down, and she can make herself safe. She can build meter off of it. Look at how much meter she builds. Look at the meter. Most you're mostly doing this for meter build and for keeping yourself safe. Look at this. I already have full meter. I have 73%. From 80, I went to 98. Like 18 to 20% I can do. It's freaking good. The light version? Eh, not, that, not as much, but still gains a lot of meter. So you get a lot of meter off of this move, so keep that in mind. Like I said, meter is important with her Skybound art. With Fairy. Okay, so that's that special move. And then now we have GG. GG no re. Which is a projectile that you send out. GG walks up to you or stays in place. Hits you and continues to electrify you or set you on fire. Puts you in block stun. This is really good for, for set play, for Oki, and for just sending it out to play neutral. Don't want to do it too much because when you send out GG, of course, they can you're wide open. So it's pretty good to do like 5C. Just make sure that you they, they're not dodge rolling as well because you can dodge roll out of GG and completely decimate Fairy. So GG can be really good in certain circumstances. After that, we have ourselves... Oh, by the way, the EX version, she walks right up to them, so it's really fast and it's really good. 
after that, we have ourselves Beppo, which is her DP. Beppo. 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 Beppo is a good boy, and he's the EX version is the only one that's invincible. So yes, she is a zoner that has an invincible reversal. Yep. That is just like that. That is pretty much all of her special moves. We're all set good to go there. That is fairy. Oh, did I go over? Yes, I did. Okay. That's fairy in a nutshell. You're good. Look at this big boy. Love you, buddy. Here we go. Okay. So let's take a look at Vasaraga here. Far 5A. Wow. Wow, that's a big button, dude. That's a big button. 5B. It's also a pretty big button. Well, not as big as I thought it was going to be, actually. And far 5C. That's a big button. Large, large button. Okay, so that's his far proximity normals. We have uh, his crouching normals. 2A. 2B. Wow. Is that a low? That's an actual low. 2A is a mid. 2B is a low. It's a sweep. 2C is a... Wow, that's a gnarly anti-air. Holy lord. That's a good anti-air, dude. That reminds me of Gordo 2B from BB Tag or 2C from BB Tag or from Uni. Wow. Okay, so now we have his air normals. JA. Same active one. JB. Oh, nice horizontal slash. You can do that to keep them into the corner or keep them out. Similar to Jin, uh, JC, and, and BBCF or BB. JC. Huh. That could be good for air to airing, too. Well, that's a good... Uh, Incoming move or jump in move because it has a big hitbox. So, yeah, you can do that. Does it cross up? No, it does not. And JD. Ah, the stomp. It's similar. You can stop momentum. Nice. Well, there's that. That's his uh, ju uh, jumping normals, his unique action. This is where he gets to summon. Uh, I can't remember what it's called now, but it's his install where he can actually gain armor for specific moves and it's a lot of armor so however that's his 5d 2d is a sweep and it reaches to freaking africa by toto so it's a very big button very big okay after that what do we got close proximity normals let's do those let's go ahead and do 5a damn hit you with the hilts man no effort whatsoever vasaraga huh I see you. Close 5B. Yo, gut check? Ooh, it's a fast one, too. Damn. Clock him. I got close 5C. Slow. But uh, swings upward. That's pretty cool. Okay. That's his close proximity normals. We went over all of his normals so far. Let's go ahead and go over his throw. Fall. Back throw. Damn. Be gone. Be gone, fat! Don't try to seduce Vasaraga, dude. Ah, he's a sweetheart anyway. So let's do jumping. Ah, that's pretty underwhelming. Taunt. We already did taunt, but we'll do it again. So you wish to see behind the mask. So you wish to see behind the mask. The uh, special moves now. He does not have a quarter circle forward. So quarter circle back. Should be able to ch charge his normals. Oh, really? Oh, you can. That's a, thank you for reminding for for telling me that. So you can charge his normals, charging five C, like that. Charge two C as well, and I think that's it. I think that's all the normals you can charge. Yep, that's about it. Okay, after that, let's go ahead and go into special moves. Of course, I'll go back. A. This is the projectile. It keeps it in place. How far does it go? Oh, it goes like half the screen, half screen. That's that's good. And then the course will go back B. That one goes about about half screen as well. And course will go back C. Also half screen. I'm guessing it has multiple hits compared to the other ones. Uh, it just comes out fast actually. Oh, this so the B version actually has a hitbox before it hits, before the projectile comes out. I mean, which is really cool. You could probably do a bunch of stuff like that. Uh, what else? We got 2-2-A, which is a stance. This is the stance, chat room. This is the stance. Savage stance is what I like to call it. From here on out, you can press A, 
to be able to do a horizontal swipe. B, to do a low. C, to do an overhead, I'm pretty sure. That's a hide, never mind. But it guard crushes. That's good to know, that guard crushes. But it's not an overhead. Clarifying, not an overhead. Okay, after that, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, let's see, what else do you have? Oh, the B version. That one he goes into. Hella stance, dude, I love it. All right, and then the EX version. This is my favorite thing, dude. He takes four steps. One, two, three, four, and he gets into position. Oh, by the way, I forgot the D version. Ah, yes. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me that. So this is the soup, like the super, super, super armor of super armors. Um, so JD, it's a guard crush, super armored move. Look at how much chip that does, just by the way. I don't know how safe it is, though. Okay, he's unsafe after this. So you can punish him afterwards. And how much? What about this one? That one, he's safe. That's good. Uh, strong side swing. Oh, this right here? Oh, yeah. You can hit people with that. Anyways, this right here. I love that move so much. Look at that. Look how he walks. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, see if we can have her interrupt. Come, Daltana super, super Armor. So now you can walk outside of EX Stance as well. Yeah, this way here. Look how he drags it, dude. Look how he drags it. So yeah, you can do that too. But I love how he walks in the beginning. It's like that. Look how he drags his scythe. I freaking love this character too, man. So now that we have that, we can go ahead and also go into the installs. Oh, I guess we should do the other special moves, huh? Uh, the other special move, which is, I think... Where is it? He has a command grab. It's... I'm so glad it's a complicated motion. So it's half circle back forward. That's the A version. B version. B version is the entire version. And C version. Step, take a step forward. A version. That's the truth. Hell yeah, dude. It's freaking dope, man. Um... That's all of his special moves. Now, the ones that get armored up... Let me take a look at which ones get armored up, actually. So, it's it, it charges... So, it gives armor to charge the, the 2C, 5C. Um, Battalion of Fear and Savage Rampage, including the follow-up skills. It gives armor to all of those. So, not only... Oh, I forgot about the other one. He has a charge move, too. Oh, how could I forget that? Come on. There it is. Charge attack. Guard crush as well. It's uh, it's punishable, but he gets armor when he goes Soul Forge. So Soul Forge gives him armor on this move. On this move. On any of the follow-ups here. All that stuff, man. He, he is huge. He's got a ton of super armor shenanigans, basically. The character. And that's pretty much Vasaraga in a nutshell. We still have, you know, Chaos Bringer and we have uh, Narmaya to worry about coming March. So, but for right now, I'm definitely going to be getting a lot of attention towards Zeta. Also, Fairy and Metara. And surprisingly enough, freaking Ladiva. This character is so sick. Oh, man. Oh, this character is dope af dude but i'm going to be going over all of these characters and probably doing guides on all of these characters too because i think that's a great idea to be because it's a small roster and i can start off like throughout this month get guides out for all these characters and once the other characters start showing up it won't be too much of a overwhelming amount of guides for these characters but uh should be pretty fun